Good morning, Rumpus Room and parents. Um, today I will be showing you um, a mess-free but obviously fun painting exercise. Um, in front of me, I have the materials you'll need. So first, um, you'll need a Ziploc baggie, um, preferably a large one, but this is all that I had at home. Um, next, you'll need paint. Um, I have a bunch of paints over here. I picked bright colors because I love bright colors. They make me happy. Um, and I think the more colors you have in this project, the more fun you'll have and the more you'll like your painting. And then lastly, I have sheets of plain white paper and I have small plain white paper to fit in my small Ziploc baggies. Um, and also I would recommend doing this at a table setting. I am on the floor in my bedroom doing it on a shoebox because my roommate is taking three exams today. We're going to start by picking your first color and I have yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze out dot like globs all over my paper. Next, you're going to take your second color and I will take pink and I am gonna do ultimately the same thing. This aqua color for my third color. I will pick purple. So your paper should look a little something like this. Next, we're gonna put the piece of paper in the plastic bag. So to do this in a way where it won't, excuse me, it won't mess up the paint before it gets in the plastic bag, I kinda like to pinch where the zipper, where the Ziploc is. So it forms kind of a mouth and you can just slide it in there. Like that, and then you're kind of just gonna set it down. And then you're going to lock it and then your baggie should look a little something like this. And then this most oop, this is the most fun part. You can pretty much just start moving your fingers along where the dots are. It would look a little something like this. And so you can take it out gently without the paint scraping on the bag and that can look really cool and tie-dye like marble like so that is what that comes out as so if you want to take it out and have it look like this you're going to take it out very carefully essentially just lifting the top plastic up off the paper and then pulling the paper out but what I recently found in the first video I tried to shoot um, if you just pull the paper out while the plastic is still stuck to it it kind of makes this really cool dramatic tie-dye that I think is really cool and really fun so here we are, we have our piece of paper and our plastic bag, and we're kind of just, just gonna tear it out. And it will, ooh, and then it'll turn into something like this. I had forgot to mention earlier, so obviously it's a very easy craft. Um, the best part about it is you can reuse plastic bags and keep using pieces of paper and your paint and make as many as you want. So 
easiest way for probably don't need a tutorial for this but um i'm gonna do it anyway so easiest way that i clean my ziploc baggie is i turn it inside out put a hand in it and then what's easiest is you can either take a damp paper towel damp the tissue damp napkin damp whatever or um my instance i'm gonna use clorox and so just pretty self-explainable just wipe the bag down and i hope you're all staying healthy safe and i hope you're all staying happy and i miss you all very much so with that said um this is the end of the video and i hope you liked it i hope you have fun doing it i hope parents that you join in on the fun too and um I look forward to hearing back from all of you.